Hi friends, welcome to my paper and napkins. This is a 30 days of paper napkins and today I'm using them with my prompt is paper. So I have some flyer paper here, newspaper, and I'm cutting them in strips and making some paper tubes. Rolling them up with my skewer here, I kind of was playing, I'm like, oh, that's the wrong way, I gotta do it the other way, yeah. So, been a little rusty, I guess. Get my tube going. And I'll get some of them going. I'm going a couple here to show you guys what I'm doing. I glue my tubes together. I just use the stick glue for that. Start rolling them up with my skewer again and make a, a few rolls. So here I am rolling it up, rolling it up. I like to add a little stick glue sometimes in my roll. Um, and at the joint I'll add a little bit of uh, tacky glue. But yeah, and at the end I add a little tacky glue just to make it more sticky or make it more tack and stays. And there I go. So I'm gonna do three rolls today. And I thought I'd put cover them up with paper napkins, and that would be the fourth, I believe, prompt uh, for the uh, April of uh, 30 days of using paper napkins. Paper napkins uh, in your in your uh, stash and all that kind of stuff. Use them up. So here I go. I have my idea is to make these rolls. So I'm just going to go step by step here and not give it away yet. So I'm just doing some mod podge, decoupage on them. I dry them up and I flip them over and do the other side. Don't really need to do this spot step, but I was just doing it out of habit mostly, I think. And here we go. Both sides, I believe, are dry. So I have my idea. Oh, tea kettle's going over there. You can hear that. I got my napkins down. I got some paper where I want it. So I'm cutting some little wires here, and this is 20 gauge wire. <clears throat> I use a needle, just a, a sewing needle, just to put through, make my hole, put my little glue on my wire, and put it in. And I'm doing this, instead of gluing my pieces together, I'm doing this to kind of make them permanent, and so they don't fall apart if they drop or something. So my circles will stay together. So I have a cluster of three, I'm marking where I'm going to pin them, so then I get my holes in the right spot using my little needle <clears throat> and get that in there and putting more tacky glue on the ends. It's a little fast but it's kind of giving you the gist of it and sticking it in. There's other ways to do this. This is the easy way I do it. I don't mind the little extra playing with it. Pushing it in with the pliers and then there we go. I have it. I also got one. I put a little bit of glue on each end too where they're touching. I put one more for the top to make a uh, piece to hang chain link to. So you got it. I'm making a pendant and I decide to do that for today's project. So here I have a nice trio of paper rolls from um, scrap uh, paper, newspaper, that kind of stuff. It would be thrown in the recycling anyway. I'm putting my uh, paper napkin on there and just decoupaging that on. I do both sides. I'm using my Paris napkin. I really like the script. I like the butterfly and I just really like the little script writing on it and it's very subtle. The little butterfly is cute on the front um, and then, then I do just kind of like the script, the French script with the flowers in the back. And there I go, drying that up. Tearing my napkin away, sealing that in, and I'm really happy with it. And then I was gonna, thinking, well, I'm going to put gold in here, but then I'm like, no, I'm using silver um, chain. So i got to put something else on here, a different color. And I have a little helper that comes in. So here is Jackson, my grandson. He's three years old, and he's helping me paint the silver on. Um, I'm rubbing it in. He's painting some silver on, and I'm rubbing it in with my fingers and rubbing a little off of my tissue. He's doing both sides. And, um, yeah, he's been very helpful. Cute little guy. He really loved painting this with me. Loves to paint with Grandma. And then I'm getting to do the edges. He was really good. Very good accuracy. And 
There we go. Three years old. What a cutie. So now he's saying bye. And we're on our way to the next level. I'm just kind of like picked up my metallic paint there. And that paint is from Deco Art. And it is multi-surface uh, metallic silver. And I'm putting my chain on there. And I made a little loop uh, to link the chain together. I made a little jump ring. And then I have a jump ring for the top there. Looping up through, and then I have a cute, 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 cute necklace. Then I'm like missing something, so then I have the paper clay. And I um, made these molds a while ago, and I decided to paint that silver cameo, silver. And then that's what I added. I tacky glued that with tacky glue. I thought I had that in the video, but I might have not turned it on quick enough. Then I used the metallic green in as well in the dazzling metallics. I believe. Let's check it out. Let's see. It is the dazzling metallics and it is the festive green I'm using under this of highlights. The lighting is really bad so I was turning it on, turning it off, just trying to get the right light and see if I could show it to you guys. And I'll, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Bye.